everybody, it's Wani De McDowell, and today I want to help my friend Vicki with her Facebook page. And I want to go ahead and do this live so you can catch a few tips as well. So we want to start with how do you change the name of my Facebook page? That was her question. So I'm going to answer that for you right now. And I'm going to show you how to add a services tab so that you can also make sure your services are defined. And lastly, I want to make sure she has a button where she can book time uh, on an appointment. So those three things you'll learn in this video. Let's go. Okay, we're going to start on facebook.com and I'm going to go ahead and click on pages. And let's pick on in motion. Okay, so the first thing that I want to show you is how to change the page name. So let's click. You see, I'm clicking on page. When I click on page, that's the name of this page, facebook.com forward slash in motion REI. So now here's how we're going to change that. Let's go down. And where it says edit page info, give that a click. And that username can change. Now, as long as Facebook agrees, um, you're following the terms of service. And as long as that name is available, then you can use that particular name. But that's how you would change your username. Make sure you're also given your page a description and contact information and so forth and so on. Make sure your website is there, locations and everything else. All right. Okay, now I want to show you how to add a services tab. You need a services tab because you need to make sure the search engines understand what your page is about. You want to include keywords. You want to make sure that the person that is checking out your page knows what services you offer. So with that in mind, let's go to a different page. And I'll explain why I'm going to a different page. Okay, so the first thing you want to do to add a services uh, page is go to the left navigation and you want to click on settings. When you click on settings, you want to go to templates and tabs. Now, because I'm using the current template, then I should see a services tab down below. So let's go down and there we go. Let's enable the services tab gives you a space to highlight the services you offer. Yay. All right. And now that that's done, let's go back to the page. So we're in page settings. We want to go back to the page. So let's click on the page name. All right. Okay. So now let's make sure that we describe our services. So go to more and that's where you'll see services. All right, so it says no services listed. Let's add a service. And I'm going to say custom. But you know, you decide on what you want your services tab to look like. You can add a photo that can be your logo. There we go. And I will hit save. There we go. We just added a services tab book appointments on your Facebook page. So to do that, you see that I'm actually on the page and it says edit call now. So this is the button you want to click. You can see you can get people to call, edit the button, which is what I'm going to do. Now you've got choices. You can have them see a contact us button or they can send a message or they can send an email in which case you're providing all this information but you're getting to see the options based on your template of what you can do sign up learn more so you decide what you want to do but if you want to have someone book maybe a buyer consultation that's what you would choose and then if you can, you can have, you have two choices, appointments on Facebook or connect another tool. If you have another tool that you want to use. Otherwise, click that button and go and say next. This will turn followers into customers. So we'll say next. 
and then you can set the days and times you want to regularly offer appointments on your calendar. Okay, I set all my times. Then I'll say next. Appointment approval. Manually approve appointments before they, they're confirmed with customers. Definitely. Now I'll say next. Review services. Make sure your service menu is updated with the right details, pricing, photos, and service. And I could say not now, but I definitely recommend you do that at some point. And that's how you would book appointments. All right. I hope those tips have helped and look forward for more tech videos. If you learned something new, make sure you give us a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe. Thanks everybody.